Welcome back to my channel. My name is Endurance. You are so welcome for those of you that are new. Welcome. Those of you that have been with me since the beginning I started my YouTube channel. I love you guys. Big hugs. Thank you so much. So today's video we'll be talking about how to deal with Czech language barriers as a foreigner. So if you're here, please subscribe, relax, Drink some tea, let's just chit chat, let's chat, let's talk, okay? I always receive questions from family and friends back home that how much of Czech language did I know before I moved down to Czech Republic? Absolutely nothing, like zero guys. Although my husband is from Czech Republic, we met back home in Nigeria, and uh, our family, friends, every one of us speaks English. He speaks English, his colleagues speak English. So there's no need for me to learn Czech and he doesn't speak Czech because there's nobody for him to speak Czech with. You know, when you move down to a foreign country, of course, you're not expected to know the language, understand the language or speak the language until you move down here and you start learning, you start making friends. That's how you start, you know, making and uh, making use of language and learning as well. The number one barrier to break is communication. Try to ask questions. When you ask questions, you know, asking questions is the number one key. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter if you came to Czech Republic the very first day, the second day, or the third day of months or years. As a foreigner, you need to ask a lot of questions. Let me take myself for an example. When I moved down here, with my husband, he is the only one that I know. He's the only one that I have. There is no other person. I don't even have friends at that time. Nobody to talk to. His family is like three hours away from where we live. So anytime I want to ask question, I just move to him like, babe, how can I say this? What can I say? How can I put it in a sentence? Like when we go for a family gathering, or we go to meet, our, like visit our families or friends or colleagues, you know, when we're leaving, I would just ask him, like, babe, how can I say goodbye? And he would like, okay, just say Naskla Dano. You know, I might not pronounce it correctly, but he would just say Naskla Dano. And I would relax when we're leaving, I would just like, Naskla Dano. Like I'm the boss, like I know it all, like I'm Czech, you know. And they were like, oh, okay, Naskla Dano, hi, hi, you know. And when we come, and when we return home, I will help tell him to spell it because I can't spell it. He will spell it for me. I will learn how to spell it because Czech we have those. There are so many signs, and those signs means a lot of things. The signs means if you're going to shut the pronunciation, if you the pronunciation is going to be long, the way you pronounce it depends how they're going to understand it. So it's a lot. Because I ask a lot of questions, I know how to say goodbye, I know how to say good morning, I know how to say good day, say good night, say have a good um, weekend or have a nice weekend, eski weekend, you know, just something like that. So many, even though I don't know how to, you know, make a full sentence, I don't know how to pronounce it properly or spell it properly. At least the little efforts that little effort that you're putting in, trust me, they see you, they will understand, they know you're a foreigner, they know you don't know it, they don't attack you like, oh please, don't say it like that. You're not pronouncing it well, you're not doing it doing it right. They will appreciate it, they will love it, they will correct you and they will understand. They will just like okay, we understand and give you what you want and help you out. If you're here, you don't have uh, a partner or you don't have anybody to help you or translate for you. You can tell your colleagues if you're here for work, you tell your colleagues, of course they will help you. If you're here for study, oh, that is even the best. Your, your schoolmates, they will definitely help you. You're going to the authorities, your schoolmates will help you, your colleagues will help you, or you can go take a lawyer to translate for you or a translator. You know, it's really so very very easy and another thing that will help you is test book read a lot of book i am not a good example because <laughs> i get tired to read because i'm all alone and 
when you read in groups you kind of have the form because it's language it's not like you're reading for your own self or for your own knowledge or you want to pass an exam or something no it's in language is interaction you need to communicate whatever you know you need to like run with it speak talk to people even though you make mistake you know but i'm all alone when i came so i will be reading the book it's kind of boring i feel sleepy i feel tired it, like irritating like oh my god i just cannot understand but as time goes on, I keep reading, I keep reading, I keep reading, and that really better me and makes me know pretty much more than even I expected. This was the book that I, I bought. I don't know if you can see it properly. This is for kids. This is really so helpful. Everything here is like beginning or beginner friendly. You learn how to, like pretty much what kids are saying yeah it's really so helpful so this was the first one that i bought really so easy and then my um father-in-law did a check bought me this one it's like a1 to a2 so this will like help you as a beginner as a beginner and also a little bit advanced so it's really so really really so helpful as you can see i've been making notes and <laughs> trying to, you know, better myself every day. Nice. And another step think, is going for a course, going to Czech school. If you're here for study, super. They will definitely have like Czech courses for free, you know. So you, you go for the classes, you learn. If you're not studying, you're working, you go for Czech courses. They have so many teachers, as private lecturers that will come to your home, they'll come to your office, they'll come to wherever you are. They will give you your lesson and you know, that's it. It's not really that expensive as private, but they also, the, the state also provides like free course. So you, you look, I don't know much about it, but I had some friends that talk about it. You search and you find them, you register and voila, you start learning. Before this terrible pandemic, I was going to check lessons, check courses. So the first day that I went there, they were really pretty much um, like teaching the fundamental, the elementary, like really so easy. Those are the things that I know, like good morning, how to find my way, how to talk to people, how to greet, how to be polite, how to do little, little things. And I was feeling like... I am already a citizen, like I am so happy, I was flowing, I was answering questions, I was asking questions, I was really so hype and happy, like oh my god, I'm ready, I'm going to kill this, I'm going to do it, I get it. So for the few weeks it was good, I was happy. So when it get deeper and the teachers were going deeper and uh, expanding and so many things, oh my god, I couldn't, my face was blank. Like. It's like my hair is all over my face. I was shut down. So I would just sit down, relax, and stay <laughs> without even understanding nothing because I don't even get anything that comes out from her mouth. And she was like, endurance toy, like what is it? You know, huh. I'm good because nothing is coming in. It's like going here and coming out from here. It's not staying. So it's, it's really so difficult for me. Czech language is really very difficult. This is the only thing that I can say kind of negatively because it's, it's a huge barrier. Other than that, it's beautiful here, it's gorgeous here. I have no problem. Everything is okay, it's not perfect. No country is perfect, you know, don't get it twisted. But it is nice, it is cool. People are friendly, people are nice, you know. I'm enjoying it here. Nice. <laughs> okay, guys. So this is it. I hope you found it helpful, useful. This little tip is not much, but little. I just decided to share with you guys for those that want to come to Czech Republic to study, for those that wants to come to Czech Republic to work or whatever you want to do, you know, coming here to start a family or, you know, just like a little tips little tips the things that i do my experience you know so guys subscribe support me share my video comment below if it's useful comment below if you're already here in czech republic prague or any cities don't forget to um 
shit. Okay. <laughs> All right, guys. Ciao. Masculana.